Installing and configuring the Genetech Clearance Uploader application. The Genetech Clearance Uploader is an application that is used to automatically upload media from body-worn cameras or other devices into Genetech Clearance. There are several components included in the Genetech Clearance Uploader application. The Genetech Clearance Uploader agent is the user interface component of the application that is used to check the status of media uploads. The Genetech Clearance Uploader service is the Windows service component of the application that performs media uploads automatically in the background. The service can perform scheduled uploads, which can help you avoid using bandwidth during office hours by deferring uploads to a more convenient time. Scheduled uploads are also useful if you're using a multi-dock or uploading media from multiple devices, which might consume excessive bandwidth. The Genetech Clearance Uploader supports a maximum of 26 concurrent cameras per workstation or server when using a multi-dock. The automatic update service keeps the uploader application up to date when new versions become available. Before you can use the Genetech Clearance Uploader, you must install and configure the application. Before you begin, make sure you have admin access on your local Windows user, as this is required for installation, access to the settings menu items, and auto updates. Make sure your Genetech Clearance account has been set up, since the uploader application must be associated with an account in order to upload media to it. Finally, you must have an active internet connection. To install the Genetech Clearance Uploader application, first make sure you have a service user account set up in the Users tab of the Configurations section. Download the configuration file for this service user, as you'll need it as part of the uploader setup. By default, this file will be called config.json, but you can rename it to something more relevant if needed. Next, download the application installation package. Right-click on the Genetech Clearance Uploader.exe file and click Open or Run. After that, you'll need to agree to the license terms and conditions, select the location to install the uploader, and click on the Install button to begin the installation. Once you get a confirmation that the installation has completed, click Finish. Now that the application is installed, you'll need to set up your account on the Genetech Clearance Uploader. Once you finish the installation, the Genetech Clearance Uploader Account Setup Wizard opens. On the Account Setup Wizard welcome screen, click Next. After that, you'll need to let the uploader know which account you want to upload files to. Click Browse and select a Genetech Clearance Uploader Service Configuration file. For example, select config.json and then click Open. Click Next and then Complete. The Genetech Clearance Uploader application is now ready to use. If you need to find any files after the installation has completed, the program and associated files are installed by default in C, Program Files x86, Genetech, Clearance Uploader. You don't need to worry about downloading new versions of this application. The Genetech Clearance Uploader application updates automatically when new versions become available. Before you can use the Genetech Clearance Uploader application, you'll need to configure the application settings. This includes the account setup information, upload schedule, application log settings, bandwidth, and sync folder settings. You can set up your account during installation using the Genetech Clearance Uploader account setup wizard as we just saw, however you can still change your account settings at any time. For example, you can change tenant information, add or change an upload schedule, or send anonymous logs to help us improve the application. To configure the Genetech Clearance Uploader agent, first bring the agent up if it's not currently visible. You can do that by clicking on the cloud icon in the system tray. Next, click on the Settings button, which looks like a set of gears, and click Set up your account. It will show the current account in use if you had configured the uploader to connect to an account previously. Once the Genetech Clearance Uploader Account Setup Wizard opens, just go through the same steps as before to select the new account's configuration file. If you want to limit when the uploader sends files to the service over the network, you can define an upload schedule. Just specify a start and end time using the drop-down menus from the pop-up dialog box. 
Scheduled uploads can help you avoid using bandwidth during office hours by deferring uploads to a more convenient time. Scheduled uploads are also useful if you're using a multi-dock or uploading media from multiple devices, which might consume excessive bandwidth. Media is uploaded immediately if the fields are left blank. If you'd like to help provide information on the service to our support team, turn on the switch in the Send Application Log section. The data that is being sent is anonymous and has no user information contained in it. In addition to being able to schedule uploads, you can also limit the bandwidth used by the uploader service. Slide the Manage Bandwidth switch to ON when you want to specify a maximum bandwidth limit in megabytes per second. Finally, you can set the Sync folder to ON if you want to automatically upload files in a specified folder to Genetech Clearance. Changing the Sync folder setting requires a manual restart of the Genetech Clearance uploader service. The Sync folder that is defined is automatically created for you after the service is restarted.